Right. This is our first time in Celestic Town. Oh, we finally got, if you weren't here, chat, we finally got Lil Whoopi to evolve into a Quagsire. He's quiet and likes dry food and is mischievous. Here we go. I don't drive that often either, but if I drive 45 miles, he'll still be dead the next day. There was some light that's draining it. Oh, like the airbag light or something. I see that's what he meant by vampiric draw. I see. Now this is interesting. Let's see your Pokemon. He clearly likes you very much. You can have this. Thanks. Whooper is baby Quagsire. Yeah, Whooper evolves into Quagsire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always happy to educate about Whoopers and Quagsires. Um, this little guy evolves into Quagsire. See, so look at his little tail thumping smile. He's happy. Just bopping around. And then he gets big, he grows arms. <laughs> no wonder they're both so cute, right? Right? What would bring you to a place so far off the beaten path? There's nothing to see here but some ancient Pokemon etchings. Well, I wonder what it could be then. They say this town has been here since Sinnoh was made. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him angry. He's saying he will blow up the town with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I'd punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. I'm trying to remember the lyrics to Spaceman by The Killers. Look at him just jumping and hopping around. He kind of does still have the same spring in his step that Whooper had. <laughs> Little Blobbo turns into Big Blobbo. Yeah, don't call him Blob though. This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with a Pokemon battle. So what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? Nah, bomb's away. Oh dear. No need for the police or anything at all. <laughs> right? Right, let's fight. A beautifly. Okay. Who we got at the front of our party again? Sparky Butt. Of course we got Sparky Butt. There's ancient depictions of legendary Pokemon. Well, clearly it's not the value that he was looking for. Sparky Butt is too high level now. We should we should be sending out Lil Whoopi. The guy is threatening the tower bomb. Hmm. Nah, no please. Let's have this ten year old hand handle it. Exactly. So yes, Sparky Butt is a squirrel. Yep. Its name's Pachirisu. But its actual name is Pachirisu. But we called him Sparky Butt. So chat, don't forget you can spend some channel points and add uh, add some nicknames for the bot to randomly name our our Pokemon if you feel so inclined. Ow! Yeah, nailed it. Good job, little Whoopi. Hi, Oni. <laughs> oh no. Good little Zappy Squirrel. Yeah. Let's just attack this guy that's got a bomb. This is fine. Too much to handle. Whatever. I'm out of this one horse down. There's nothing to do here anyways. That one looks like a frog. Yep. It's called a uh, Krogunk. Like Croak. Uh, aren't you the trainer? That was magnificent. As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you to deliver it to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. This old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Now I'm going to look around outside town first. Just don't mind me. Hey, do you know what they say? They say Pokemon created the Sinnoh region. You don't say. Wouldn't he have said one Ponyta Town? That would have made more sense. I must bear down and train, and for that, time is unimportant. Therefore, I have no need for a watch. Take this from me. Ah! We now know the time. Dazza be one honker. Thank you, sub. <laughs> oh.
We're not going to write a message up there again since we found out that it gets erased. There, now we know what time it is. It's too long in full. Ah. Oh, that's the next route. We'll ignore that. There's no Pokemon in this town. Instead, you can buy and sell items in the house right next to me. So, this is the Pokemon? Welcome, may I help you? This is literally a Pokemon. Why not just call it a Pokemon? <laughs> and how do we have so much money? A digital analog clock. Well, I was then about to show you guys my smartwatch, but it's dead. I haven't used it for, for months. But that's got an analog clock on the front. Oh, cool. Timer balls? Let's take like 50 of them. They look sick. I love them. And we got loads of cash, so... Take like 30 quick balls as well. I need to start using other types of Pokeballs. Non-franchise Pokemon. Yeah. Just like... Their own sort of... Corner shop. What do you say? Putting on a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Taking off a pair of glasses changes how the world looks too. Deep man. Yeah, give me the black glasses. That'll do. Black glasses raise the power of dark type moves. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, the difference between the 7 Eleven and convenience store. Yeah. Howdy! Studying up on local history? There's a big house. We'll go to the big house in a second. If I climb to the top of Mount Coronet, will I be able to see all of Sinnoh? Maybe. Mount Coronet Towers at the center of Sinnoh. In a way, it's the closest place to the sky in this region. I like that. It's cool. I like traveling up tall things and looking down on things. Been, been to a couple of the um, Canary Islands and done that. It's fun. My big sister is studying the myths of Sinnoh. She wants to know how people and Pokemon interacted in the days of myth. Were things different back then? Or were they the same as now? She says she's uh, that's the focus of her research. Do you guys see the new trailer for Legends Arceus? That was some cool stuff. Um, it seems like... You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of like the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan are almost like Team Magma and Team Aqua. You know how we were randomly just talking last time about what if we are the bad people in Legends Arceus? Yeah, the clans were interesting. With the little boy he has that hopping, isn't he great? I wonder if, like, they're switched around this time, you know? Yeah, the Merchant Guild was weird. The Merchant Guild just kind of gave me Beetle vibes, you know, from uh, uh, Breath of the Wild. Where are you from? Hmm, Twinleaf Town, you say. Isn't that close to Lake Verity? Lake is said to be home to Mesprit. The being of emotion. It must be looking over you. Aww. It's an old book. You began reading it. When that Pokemon was born, intelligence bloomed among us, enriching our lives. When that Pokemon was born, emotions bloomed among us, giving us joy and sorrow. When that Pokemon was born, willpower bloomed among us, spurring us into action. Ah, the Lake Guardians. Yiga Clan vibes. Ah. I didn't even think about that. I forgot about the Yiga Clan. Keep up, Quagsire. Nope. That's just lazy. You can't just teleport. Alright, I guess we're gonna go look in the ruins. Keep up. Keep up, little quag. You know, when you were baby whooper, you managed to keep up with us with no arms. You examine the ancient cave. Oh, it's the egg in the middle. Egg! Mysterious designs cover a, wall, a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them is a shining sphere. What is this all about? Egg. <laughs> the cave painting reminds me of an old story. There existed a being, a being so powerful, was considered a deity at the time. Opposing this being were three Pokemon. The three kept balance with the one as if they formed a triangle. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told to this day in Celestic Town. Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take these. They belong to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. TM95. Is that going to be, like, surf or something? <laughs> okay. 
Each of those TMs contains surf. The user controls a huge wave, drags everything around it except for the user itself, and attacks. My granddaughter said something about... what was it? Oh yes, you can use surf from your Poketch to cross waters such as seas and rivers. Use that hidden move in the field, however, you must first obtain the Heart Home Gym Badge. On that matter, you will have to handle it yourself, I'm afraid. Ah, uh ha! -huh. Every time I hear Lil Whoop or Lil Quag, I smile. Lil Quag? Lil Quag? So, oh, hello. There appears to have been an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective. One that is on a universal scale. He's smiling, that's creepy. My name is Cyrus. I seek power to create a new world. A world without strife. However, that power seems to be unavailable here. We've met before, yes? Is it Mount Coronet? If you discover any power derived from the legends of Sinnoh, inform me. For that power is what I need to create my new world. No. <laughs> Alright, where are we off to next? Defeat Fantina in Heart Home Gym. Can we go to the west here? And can we also explore this route? Kinda wanna kinda wanna see what I can explore still. Totally not creep vibes. No, definitely, definitely not. He's he's fine. Absolutely fine. So we have some berry bushes, we have some Pokemon trainers. So we are still working on our Pokedex. Uh, let's switch over to this box. So we need to evolve Starly and Staraptor. Uh, we still need another Kadabra. We need to evolve Duck Parade into a uh, Luxio and then Luxio into Luxray. I need to go get the Brock and CK. God damn it. Basically, a lot of Pokemon we still need to evolve for our Pokedex. And we're getting there. But yeah, I want to go and catch a Roselia instead of um, instead of training one up. So we got some trainers to fight. I think I'm gonna get rid of Sparky Butt. The names are glorious. Yes, glorious is a word that I would use to describe the names as well. Uh, do I want to take Wrecker out? I don't think so. I want to see if I can just go with uh, Lil Whoopy for a little bit. Um, who are we gonna take with us to evolve? Oh, we still need to get another. We need to replace Makalate for a Cascoon. Oh, Apom. Oh, Carlton isn't that far away. What level does Carlton learn double hit? Um, level 32. So he's really close. So we'll get we'll get Carlton out here. There we go. Switch box. Back to this one. Just in case we catch anything new. Alright, let's do some wild battles. And let's start off with a bird trainer. I go everywhere with my Noctowl. We're going to show you our best. Alright, Catherine. Totally didn't think that you were male by your hair. Alright, little Whoopi. You got this. Reflect? Okay. <laughs> hey -ya. It's fine, I'll just take a couple more of those. <laughs> Put that reflect up. Extra sentry might hurt us. Nah, we're, we're, we're boss. Look at us go. What well, Pokebird is small enough for that cage? You'd be surprised, there's quite a few. Um, like Pidgey and Spiro are actually kind of kind of tiny. Chatot, maybe. You know, maybe they keep Chatots as pets. Let's just do a slam. Alright, Whoopi took a bit of a beating there. I see we've got a hiker coming up. Now we could get away with just keeping Whoopi out and just maybe using some berries to heal him up. Do 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 Wait, does Whoopi have the amulet coin? Whoopi does not have the amulet coin. There we go. Little Whoopi got whoopied. No, he gave out a Whoopi. He's the best. He's the best little Whoopi in the world. 
I just give him a bit of extra hit points back. Oh, that's a fossil maniac. It's not a hiker at all. Whilst exploring the ruins, I spotted a trainer. I must investigate. There's ruins here? Harry. I used to know Harry. Bronzor. That's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. We need Whoopi to get a, a ground type move. Because he's not going to learn Earthquake for a long time. <laughs> that shouldn't do too much because we're very slow. Do, 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 do. Hiya! Aqua Tail's being quite good to us. Whoopi pies? Do you have whoopi pies on that side of the pond? Never heard. Well, I've heard of it before. Wait. Oh. Oh, hang on. Might have a question. There you go. 30%. Ah, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Chance of gyroid fragment showing up on the beach are 30%. There we go. We have an answer. We have an answer. You guys are welcome. Um. Whoopie pies. I have seen them before. But not here. They remind me of macarons. Or macaroons. Cake, usually chocolate, icing or marshmallow cream. Now I want them. Now I want them. They look nice. Chocolate covered marshmallow cookie sandwiches. Ah. Your old account? Wait, what about it? Do you think this guy is strong? I think you'll understand what I was doing when you'll see the move containing these TMs. Strength? Oh! <laughs> in the egg, yeah. Let's say your opponent raises its defense using Harden. Your Pokemon can actually use Psych Up to get the same defense boost as its opponent. Ah, okay, we got Psych Up. Cool. I guess that kind of makes sense with what he was doing. Hi, I saw you there. Speed is a ninja's best weapon. Can you keep up? Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of slow with Lil Whoopi, so probably not. Ninja Boy Nick. I've known a few Nicks in my time as well. Skorupi! Oh, we need to go to uh, the Great Marsh. See what the daily Pokemon is for today. Thought his hair was a hat. Yeah, I can kind of see that. Also, his cape. Okay, that's not a cape. Those are... Okay. To me, it looked like it was a solid at the back. I thought he was wearing a cape. Whitney Soups, thank you for the host. Appreciate it. But yeah, it's like... I thought his cape was being hung from his head, but it's just the, the ties of his bandana. Or head tie, whatever that is. I don't know. Lil Whoopi, you can survive. I believe. Sash as a headband. Yeah, it's like really long. Golbat. We're good. We're good. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry that I keep itching my nose. I can't help. Like the outside is so scratchy. That's the wrong move. That's gonna hurt. Golbat avoided the attack. Do I have a full restore? I'll use it. Don't make me use it. I do not. Alright, time to drink some milk. Mmm, delicious. Mm -hmm. Poison Fang. Okay, that's fine. I won't do much. I missed what used the Skaroopy, or what move the Skaroopy used. Was it toxic? Because this is doing quite a lot of damage to me. Yeah. Almost. Alright, you've got this. You've got this. As long as this actually hits, Little Whoopi should be fine. Britney Spears toxic starts playing. <laughs> it's toxic. Oh, I'm slipping under. Ba ba da bum. 
Sweet. Ninja Boy Nick. All right, that was kind of rough. That was kind of rough. I might quickly head back to Celestic Town. Yeah, I'm gonna head back and heal up. Little Whoopi, you're in the way. Oh my goodness. <laughs> God damn it. Dua, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome raiders. Giving me a freaking heart attack. <laughs> I want to question things, but I remember it's a Pokemon game and that alone explains everything. Yo, question away. Ask some questions. We can come up with some funny answers if we don't have a legitimate answer. Welcome Raiders, how's it going? Oh my goodness, Dua, what is up? How was your stream today? What were you up to today? Bum, 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 bum. Appreciate the raid, my friend, as always. I don't really get to, uh, to jump into your stream these days because of, uh, your new schedule. We tried Among Us, oh no. Oh no. But making Dua work out? Building some biceps, Dua. Getting strong. How's that bat? Pokemon eat? And where on earth does the food go? <laughs> um, well, it's got fangs. So that's a start for how it eats. Uh, where the food goes? We, we'll read the Pokedex entry. Maybe we've got uh, some answers from the Pokedex. Skip gym this week? That's okay, I've been skipping gym for 27 years. Wait, I'm 29. I've been skipping gym for 29 years. We redeemed him too? Oh, yikes. Nah, not for me. <laughs> if if I ever put up a redemption that was like, do a sit-up, or do a push-up, or do a squat, or something like that, like, I, I don't trust my chat with that kind of power. You've seen what it's like with trusting my chat enough to nickname my Pokemon. Nibble wants to learn Memento. Nope. Memento, I believe, something to do with hel held items. Where the food goes, no one knows. Albus wants to learn Heavy Slam. That could be quite good for Albus. We'll get rid of uh, Payback. Dazza doesn't trust us. There, I trust you with plenty of things. I, pl I trust you with plenty of things. Trust is a strong word. <laughs> Meditate. Okay. I trust you with naming my Pokemon. I don't trust you with... My legs are too sore. Please don't redeem any more squats, you know? Yeah, I think streamers, we all have our own... Um, our own goals in mind when we set up stuff like channel points, you know, and, and stuff that, you know, it, it, viewers can do to, to affect the content and interact with things. Alright, that was fun. Little Whoopy did enough. Are we going to get an evolution here? No. Okay, I'm going to look in the grass and just see if there's anything new here. Because we might come across something new. That would be kind of nice to not have to level up Machop. According to my notes, Machop evolves at level 28. Uh, it's fine. We'll just... There's only a few levels we got to get on our Machops. Graveler as well. Okay, I'm kind of getting an idea for what kind of Pokemon we're going to see here. Bum, 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 bum. Basically, I'm not interested in any of these. Uh, I will, though. I was going to go through, but I want to grab the berries. Never mind. Pokemon time. And a Ponyta. Okay. Oh, what level does Ponyta evolve? I never wrote that down. I was about to ask how fast a Rapidash is, then I realized it's in the name. Oh, I didn't check the Pokedex entry for Golbat. You couldn't get away. That's a lie. Forty or higher? Oh, yikes. That's, that's quite a lot of levels. I doubt I'm going to find one in the wild, though. Oh. 
Golbat. The bat Pokemon. It loves the blood of humans and po Oh, I remember this now. It flies around at night in search of neck veins. Wow. So how does it eat? It doesn't. It drinks. Um, uh, yeah. Grappa berries. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, Integrity, does does the Pokedex answer your question? <laughs> would, you, would you like to learn more? <laughs> oh dear. I don't think I want to know more. Those tasty neck veins. Mmm! Mmm! Delish. Alright, we've got Grappa Berries. They're brand new. Grappa! I'll we'll plant a couple of other ones that we've got only a few of. The wiki berries. The music here is a bop, though. I like this music. The music in this game is really good. This one as well. Lovely. Alright, we'll go back through the grass because we might come across a wild pot. Nope, never mind. This is going to be Mount Coronet again, isn't it? Oh, we need strength. I don't think we've got strength. Oh, whoops, I went straight past it. There we go. So we can't use strength just yet. It's kind of interesting. How does that huge mouth attach to any neck other than, like, a Tyranitar? And how would trainers feed that? Uh, oh, hello. Escape rope. Okay. Like, eat them and you get knowledge from Wikipedia. I was thinking the same thing. I was trying to think of, like, a Wikipedia joke to make, but brain was empty. <laughs> brain was empty. Wow, I am super hungry today. Holy smokes. I don't know how much of this we're going to play. Because I need food. Oh, we actually can't make it... Out of here. Without strength. Interesting. Boom, 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 boom. Food is important, yeah. Okay, we'll get back out of here. Because we can't move without strength. Which is kind of interesting, but that's okay. Uh, we will fly back to Pastoria. Because I want to see what the daily Pokemon is at, uh, at the marsh. We've had Skaroopy in the marsh for four days in a row. And I'm starting to think my game is bugged. Come on, Carnivine, Krogunk. Please. Skaroopy again? This game is rigged. My daily Pokemon is Skaroopy again. Never mind. It is per area. I was not aware of that. Right, we're going to go hunt for a Krogunk. Or two. Apparently it, was sa it wasn't safe, so no stomach is hurting. Oh no! Oh, that's crazy that such a small thing can have, have such a reaction, Neo. I'm sorry to hear. Hope you feel better soon. So, time for us to find a quick Krogunk. Or two. We need two. I forget what the encounter rate of it is. Like, for the daily Pokemon. Oh, no, 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 Please don't catch it, please don't catch it, please don't catch it. I didn't mean to throw it, I didn't mean to throw it, please, please. No, I don't want to be barrel. No. Oh, now I feel... Okay, no, I was going to call it something and then release it, but I'm not calling it Wallapoid and then releasing it, because Wallapoid's a good name for a Krogunk. Please enter a name. We 
Where would you like to send a mistake to? The box. Got some energy intake for today. Ooh, what kind of wow. pizza did you have? I love pizza. I just released a mistake. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I want to get myself a Krogonk. And call it Wallopoid. Now I feel sorry for him. Well, he was he was an accident. So I just released him back into the wild. Yeah, Wallopoid is a really good name. Like I don't wanna I don't wanna use Wallopoid and and then release it. And then we're gonna use Wallopoid on Krogonk. Or maybe Toxicroak, you know, depending on what the other nickname is. We'll, we'll pick one to evolve. Right, do not catch it. Tomato sauce, cheese, and mushies. Ah. I might pick up a, a pizza or two tonight. Are you kidding me? The difficulty we had finding this thing last time, and it just shows up like, Hey, I'm Azuril, what's up? How's it going? This definitely was the area, wasn't it? Because it had the little it had the little boy at the front. Oh, hey, little whoop. Hello, friend. Bye-bye. I should, I should start feeding little whoop as, as we encounter them. Be like, here, have some food. The itchiness has started. Oh no. Go to right, there's a smaller area. Um, the smaller area doesn't really mean much. <laughs> the smaller area doesn't really mean much. Oh no. Please don't, please don't run. Stay in the ball. I have allergy meds, it's okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. Stay. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay, so each area does have a different daily Pokemon. I did not know that. This one is called... Oh, I can spell. Wallopoid. And it goes to the box. Alright, we need a second one for our living decks. So let's keep on looking. Um, um. Well, how about that? Another male. As long as we catch it, you know. But it's never easy, not until it's in the box sub. Look no further. We might have to look further. Two. Don't run, please. Should I bait it? I forget which one's better. Was it bait or mud? Very nice! Oh, I didn't read the Pokedex entry. I never read the, the Pokedex entry for Krogonk. Well, this one's going to be called Sus. That, okay. <laughs> Alright, where are we? Here we are. Krogonk! The toxic mouth Pokemon. Wow! We should have called it Twitter. Its cheeks hold poison sacks. It tries to catch foes off guard to jab them with toxic thingies. Um, I don't know, cause because Sus is like a funny name, but Wallopoid is a cool name. But I think Wallopoid fits Toxic uh, Krogunk better than Toxic Croak. Whoopee. Oh, there's an item there. Quagsire. Yeah, like, because Toxic Croak's got, um... Or because Krogunk's got, like, the, the funny hands, whereas Toxic Croak's got kind of weird hands. <gasps> there is a Carnivine! Which area is that? We're going to go for that Carnivine. So I think that's it. I think as far as daily Pokemon goes, uh, before the Pokedex, or National Pokedex, I think Scroopy, Toxicroak, and Carnivine are the only three that are, like, exclusive from here. I'm not sure. Is that the one at the start? Oh, it might be. Let's have a look. 
because there were no tracks at the south of China. I didn't see that. I didn't see that. Was it here? Must be. Yeah, because there's the pond on the right as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Neo. Alright, let's get ourselves a carnivine. There's not a lot of grass here. Oh, but there is an item. Badoo! No! But don't! Hello. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm too busy looking for a condo. There's not a lot of grass here. Boo! No! I do not accept the boo. Bum, bum, bum. So, if you guys, if you guys have been here for like multiple years, I'm talking like Neo will remember this. Lily might remember this, depending on Lily's memory. Tiz might remember this. Many people might remember this. The uh, we used to have a button set up for a for a pun. It was, we called it the Pun Gods. I think it was a 1 in 10 chance that whenever I pressed the button for a Badumtis, it would actually play the crickets instead. But it broke. And I never reset it back up. Wow, rude. I said depending on your memory. Because I don't know how good your memory is. I know Neo's memory is amazing. <laughs> so, you know. What do you mean, wow? So we used to leave puns up to the Pun Gods to decide whether a, a joke was good or not. I remember the button. Okay, so your memory is good. Hey, we got the viney boy. Or gal. Viney boy. I actually nearly used the Carnivine on my team. I've never seen anyone use this Pokemon. Well, that was easy. I'm glad I double checked. I'm so glad I double checked, because I didn't realize that the daily Pokemon were per area. I honestly thought it was, you know, a daily Pokemon for the entire Great Marsh. Um, but today I learned. Sorry, I'm going to look at the Great Marsh again. If I can find it. There it is. Why is the text on Cerebi so small? Um... Oh, you can actually get Toxicroak and Drapion through the binoculars. Bin binoculars. But yeah, looking at it, that's it. That's all I need. Cool. The Bug Catcher Pokemon. It attracts prey with its sweet smelling saliva and then chomps down. It takes a whole day to eat its prey. Not me. WH Smith. My oh, god. <laughs> W.H. Smith. Who suggested that? Oh, I missed it. Who suggested W.H. Smith? <laughs> the bookshop. <laughs> oh, another Pokemon. It was Jay. I need to have words with him. <laughs> I guess, you know, Carnivine's mouth kind of looks like it could be a book, you know, because it opens and closes. Although, show me someone's mouth that doesn't open and close. I guess Golbat. Never mind. Yeah, I want to exit. We're out of here. Right, let's go replace the Brock and CK. Harry Potter monster book? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I did actually go and watch the trailer for, um... What was it called? Dumbledore's Secret? Hey, the chat, that looked pretty good. Um... Yeah, I don't... I don't know um, how I feel about it though, because of the, you know, being able to watch movies and whatnot. Hi, fight me. What is that person doing in the the bog? What the heck? Body is covered in sweet nectar and the skin on its back is especially yummy. Children use it, use it to have a snack. Yeah, I remember seeing that before. I so think CK and the Brock is a much better team twang. The second movie was Air, I felt. It felt like a filler. Yeah, I... I have to agree with you, I think. The first movie was pretty good, but... It's kind of like... Moving away from Fantastic Beasts, if that makes sense. Ba 
baby, he too cute. Wait, who baby? Weasel. We we have to heal. I completely forgot that uh, Aqua Tail had taken damage. Or would use Aqua Tail. Uh, can you use a water move, please, Weasel? That'd be nice. Oh, Quagsire? Yeah, we got Quagsire. He's uh, he's bounding around with us now. Holy! We could teach it dig, but I don't think I want to. I do have energy to burn. I also have a Pokemon to heal. Oh, if we're going to be catching Pokemon here, we should probably get Sparky Butt out just quickly. There is a Pokemon Center here, right? Yeah, it's over this way somewhere. Teacher, what now? Dig. Dig. With a G. No. You deserve that. <laughs> this is like one of <laughs> This is one of the only times I'm gonna let Bot Bound keep his timeout. <laughs> Three minutes, have fun. <laughs> oh dear. That's what you get for trying to put words in my mouth. For a lightning bug. He's, uh, he's actually a squirrel. What happened? Family friendly. <laughs> Bro. That's just toxic. Toxic is a really good move for Quagsire. A squirrel with the sparkiest of butts. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Triggering bot bound hill. Oh! Because <laughs> bot bound hilarious triggered bot bound high. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bot bound, please. Is family friendly G or PG or PG? Th I have no idea. Family friendly means don't say things that you wouldn't say in front of a six year old, you know? Do -do 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 -do. Ah, part of the plan. Toxic spikes, okay. Uh, we need to use Pokeballs. Wait, is this one male or female? I didn't see. Well, like, Bob Bound, are you. Don't be mean to bot bound. Yeah, exactly that, yeah. Okay, Sparky Bot is way too high level right now. Wants to learn Super Fang. Super Fang's gonna be really good for it. Super Fang always halves the amount of health that an opponent has. I'm gonna get rid of Swift for Super Fang. Yeah, well. Exactly, Josh, yeah. Like... I know people are like, Oh, I, s I don't care what I say around a six-year-old. Well, I'm just like, well, you know... I do. <laughs> Thorn Pokemon. Roselia rays on clean drinking water are known to grow vividly colored flowers. And this one is going to be CK. I think a six-year-old would love my joke. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, butts aren't family unfriendly, you know. Uh, so, Integrity, the Pokemon that I'm using on my team, the six team members that I'm using, um, I have named them myself deliberately. And in the, sp in, in the case of Sparky Butt, it was a generous offer that I gifted to someone. Would you like to name my cute Pokemon team member for me? And they said, yes, call it Sparky Butt. I learned my lesson, I deserve that. <laughs> Welcome back, Hellhound. <laughs> I looked at it, I was like, oh, it's only three minutes. Like, you'll probably just get up, grab a drink or something. <laughs> oh, and, and I knew that you could take it. I knew that you could take it. <laughs> oh, dear. And this one's going to be called The Brock. So... Why have I caught these two, and why have I named them the way they are? 
Well, when I was back in Eterna Forest, we came across the Badu that we needed, and we got the nicknames already. Uh, however, I can't be bothered to evolve to Badu through friendship, because... Pff, friendship. So, we're releasing the original ones, and we've replaced them with the evolved form. So now we just need a shiny stone to evolve them in, or to evolve CK into a lovely, beautiful Rose Raid. Glorious. And I don't know if there's any other Pokemon around here that we need, but Sparky Butt's too high level. So we have to send Sparky Butt away and see if there's any other Pokemon we can find in here. Maybe I should be checking the routes out as I get here, but I kind of do like it to be a surprise. Just sat here and watched the timer go down. <laughs> oh dear. Mm. Dum, dum, dum. WH Smiths look like one of those hacked in Pokemon names. You leave WH Smiths alone. It's the best Carnivine ever. This is a full body mud pack. If it weren't, I wouldn't be squirming and struggling to get out. Okay. <gasps> oh, I didn't realize I could catch you outside of the Great Marsh. That means we can shiny hunt Wooper. I thought they were only available in the Great Marsh. I think I know what my first shiny hunt is going to be. I know I've already got a shiny Wooper, but we don't have one in Brilliant Diamond Shiny Pearl, so. Let's go, Coral Wooper. I might even evolve this one into a Quagsire because I haven't for the other one. There's nothing around here. What is this place? If you get stuck in the bog, you can count on being there a while, really. There's no need to panic, just struggle and keep trying to move around for a bit. Bicycles cannot be ridden on the marshy ground, incidentally. There are Pokemon that become more powerful when it rains. Purple Quack, it's pink! Alexa, play Despacito. Boom, boom. Hey, look, it's Goldeen. Let's squish it. He, yeah. Just rude. So glad I don't have an Alexa. Oh, dear. I do, but it's not in this room. Weasel. <laughs> Tail whip. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Mm, very, very nice. Do. Uh, let me just have a look at something quickly. Oh, okay. Doesn't give a reason. Interesting. Thought it did. Alright. When I lose, my tears fall like rain. They call me Rain Woman. I was about to say that she's kind of cute as well. Like, they, they keep making all of the... The female trainer's super cute, but then she said that. Shards wanted. Technical machines offered. Ooh. Okay. If you find 10 shards of the same color, please let me know. I'd gladly trade your technical machine for them. Okay. My big sister collects shards. She says the piece of her... Of the place she worked at long ago. She, oh, she says they remind her of the place she worked at long, long ago. So I'm guessing I don't have 10 of any? I wouldn't even know where to find them. Um, this one? Oh. oh, I'm thinking of the tiny, uh, like this, I was, I was thinking of the spheres. Like the little things that you find in the Grand Underground. Can't you see I'm fishing? Don't talk, you'll startle the fish. Rude. Juan. And he's only got Juan fish. Funny we had Sparky Butt. Sparky Butt would know what to do. That is a big fish. That, that's true. Ha 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 ha! You tried! <laughs> Alright, it's gonna take a couple of slams, but this will be fine. You're number Juan! Thank you, Flatly. Alright, just keep slamming. Just keep slamming. You got this. Scary face? That's fine. 
Lower speed? I'm already slow. I accept this. Gar Gyarados technically fly around like a bird Pokemon. No, Gyarados cannot learn fly. Pidgey can. Pidgey can learn fly, and you can use fly from a Pidgey. But from a Gyarados, that's absurd. <laughs> Absolutely absurd. They're not giving us any experience. It's kind of rough trying to use my... Oh wait, there was another bit of... Wait, what's that? How do I get back there? There was like a, a place where we could use the bicycle um, track further along in this route. Oh, please! Thank you. Just go around. Oh, there's a bit up there as well. How do I get up there? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Aha! Exploration chat. Exploration. But, and not a dragon. Yep. <laughs> yep. Totally absurd, right? Exactly, exactly. See, you understand. Wait, where's Quag? Why is Quagsire not out? Thank you. Balance! Wait, how do we get under there? For that item? Hold on. Hold on. Ah! God, the bike is just insane. Revive. Okay, that was kind of what. What are you doing up there? Come on, Quagsire! I like how his feet are perfectly either side. <laughs> Bike is very silly. I think it comes down to the, like, the block size in-game and how everything is basically on a tile. Because even when you're walking, sometimes it's difficult to just walk in a narrow one-by-one -one space. Unless you're using the, the D-pad. That looks a little glitched. <laughs> Here comes a nice trainer. This is worth evaluation. Scientist Sean. This is our second Sean we've seen today. Alright, this should be easy. We've got Rain Boosted Aqua Tail on a Pokemon with no defense. Slap it! I might keep Aqua Tail, but I also know we're going to learn Waterfall later on, so that's just obvious. Though. Let's learn Muddy Water. Ooh. 90 damage, 85 accuracy. Our special attack isn't that much lower than our physical. But Aqua Tail is just slightly better. Uh, yeah, we're going to keep Aqua Tail. Kadabra. Same story, different Pokemon. Ah, okay, never mind. Oh, we're still the best. It's fine. But no Alakazam. Nope. Daisy, are you playing the game yet? Can, can we trade to evolve? <laughs> I got some Pokemon I need to trade. Hurry up and get your third badge. Play video games. Video games are fun, Daisy. And version exclusives, please. I need Mistrevis. And, of course, you're a very good friend. And I'm not just using you to get Pokemon. Sabrina? Ah, oh, little Psyduck. Okay. Still haven't evolved our Psyduck to Golduck. Um, I don't think I wrote down what level that evolves either. Oh, okay. Okay, that's fair. I'm glad you're taking a day to play some video games, though. A bottle of zinc. Alright, that was worth a little detour, though. You know. A couple extra Pokemon. Yeah, because it was that beam at the top that made me think of that. I kind of want to ride this one as well. 
Proud of my Pokemon. Here, I'll show you why. I want to decorate my island a bit for, for the holidays. Let's throw some, um... Dominique. Or Don Dominic? Dominique? I don't know. Throw some uh, illuminated decorations around. Some of the new, um, like, ornament garlands as well. So I think those are half wide. They'll be good to decorate with. Oh, why did I... That's fine, I don't care. They went tizz up. Mm, yeah, yeah. So I can't do much else? Yeah, I understand. I understand. Um... Because I know you you were planning on finishing all your work stuff today, right? Are you close to finishing? Boom. But also when the brain does the dips, you know, you, I think it's good that you, you take a bit of time for yourself. Yeah! Look at Quagsire absolutely destroying everything it encounters. And people tell me that they don't like Quagsire. Like, what? Please! He's best. He's got a big old purple splodge on his back. And he's also, I think he's gotten a bit fatter in recent years. He's, he's been putting on the pounds. Quack is a drag. What do you mean he's not a drag? He's the best! I got an area where you go from airport to plaza, where I decorate by season. Might change that. That's what I used to do. Yeah, I used to have the big, um, like, extended plaza, I used to call it. And I'd make it seasonal, but I kind of stopped doing that. Um, quite a while ago, actually. Can't remember why. Bug Buzz. Oh, that's a good move. So I remember I did it for... I think I did it for Christmas last year. And then that was it. After that, I didn't bother doing it again. All signed off, though, so I don't need to make any more changes. And I get the money! Yes! Oh, so ten... Wait, so what do you have to do tomorrow? We got Barboach here. We got four fish Pokemon. That are quagmires. Mm. Oh, we could just use Aqua Tail. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, is that all you've got to do? Oh, easy peasy. Oh, you can do that. Sure, surely you can do that, right? Like maybe between games, and then that way you've literally got nothing to do tomorrow. Maybe. Sorry about bound. Shellos. Shellos is pure water type. It's not ground type just yet. Christmas might be the only time I will be season decorating, so that's why I might get the extension plus. Ah, I see. Oh wait, what did wait, what did the Pokemon do? I missed it. Avoided the attack. Okay. Right, oh, the captions part, oh. Building an IG feed, my brain fuzzes it apart. See, I've never like, I've never even looked into Instagram stuff. This thing is using Harden a lot. Yes, yes, flatly. <laughs> yes, it's definitely like a direction and not like being tied up. Yikes. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this is being a pain in the butt. Why is Slam missing so much? Can anyone please explain that? It's 75% accurate, and it's only hit once in five times. Split up with games for sure. Okay, good, good, good. That's six times it's used Harden. And I can't hit it. How? What? Wow! Can anyone explain what the heck is going on here? I've got, like, nothing I can use to attack this thing now. Like, I wish I could... Oh, I can see the summary. It's just going to keep using Recover as well. It's got like six Hardens under its belt. Rigged, game's broken. That was six or seven misses of Slam. 
low-key hypnosis. <laughs> totally. <laughs> I was just going to go with... Conf oh, I could use Confuse Ray as well, actually. I'm like, I'm going to have to hit it with a special attack. Stop using Recover! To be fair... Oh, it mud slapped. Oh! Well, that's poo. <laughs> to be fair, Shellos has a similar move pool and playstyle as Quagsire. It's it's all about toxic, amnesia, recover, and maybe throw in like a, a waterfall here and there. Please don't confuse me. Thank you. No recover, no recover, no recover. This game is rigged. This game is absolutely rigged. As if I'm being walled by a level 20 Shellos. Thank you, it hit itself. There did no damage because its defense has got plus six stages right now. That's crazy. Please, KO. Please. Don't recover, don't recover, don't recover. Okay, that's fine. As long as I don't get confused. Okay. We're good to go. Easy peasy, chat. Easy peasy. Never batted an eyelid. Wasn't worried at all. Absolutely, positively fine and dandy. And another bar boat that I'm going to switch back into Quagsire. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, if Barboach has Water Absorb, but I'm going to hit it with a Tail Slam anyway. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome on in. I'm going to hit it with a Tail, uh, an Aqua Tail anyway. Um, just because I've got more PP for it. Ah, there we go. Perfect. As calculated. Imagine it being a Gastrodon. No thanks. Travis. Oof. Just got trampled right under your feet that time. Yeah, trampled. Huh. Wait. Oh, there's a little, little building there. Okay. We're gonna go back to Pastoria. Heal up Quagsire. That was, that was, that was not fun. <laughs> that was not fun at all. Half past six. Okay. Oh dear. I have the hungries. I need to figure out what I'm taking to or getting from the supermarket tonight. I need a need toilet roll. I keep forgetting to buy toilet roll. It's not an emergency situation yet, but it might be soon. <laughs> oh dear. You need TP in this economy? Yes. Quagsite, what? Do curry? I could go for a curry. But the stuff I'm buying at the moment has to keep for a while. So I'm buying a lot of frozen things right now. Which kind of sucks. I miss, like, cooking proper nice food. I really do. But I'll have my kitchen one day. I actually realized... We found Fisher Cameron. I actually realized the other day that, um... I'm not able to take my sink out just yet. Because I've got to have a, a boiler part replaced, and they're going to have to test the hot water. And it makes more sense to test the hot water in the kitchen sink right next to the boiler than it does to go, like, upstairs and test it in the bathroom or whatever. So it's fine, I'll just put that off for a bit. Who is that Pokemon? Who is that <laughs> uh Pokemon sounds sad. I wanna say it's like a ghost type. I think it's a biggin. I wanna say it's like a ghost type, but the only ghost type I can think of is mischievous, and it's not mischievous. I wanna say it's like maybe Fortress? I really don't know, though. Oh, it could be Smeargle, yeah. <gasps> Psyduck's finally evolving. 
could be Smeagol. It could be, uh, like, maybe Pupitar. Any more guesses, chat? Any more guesses? I think Smeagol's a good shout, though. Golduck, the duck Pokemon. Quackers in chat? This Pokemon lives in lakes. It swims faster than any world-class swimmer. How about that? How about that? Alright. Cinema roll. You're going back in the box. Forever and ever. Right after we had Lavatar, I'm going to call it raked. Slugma. There you go. No one expected that one. Slugma. I think I'm going to put Tishi in here. We're going to evolve Tishi. Just quickly. Damn. It makes sense. After you hear it, and then you see it, you're like, ah, okay, that makes sense. Inquisition. Ooh. That's a big word. Oh, I don't want to go that way just yet. I want to fight that trainer up there. Oh, wait, did I already fight the trainer? I saw people riding their bikes and using a log just like a bridge. Oh, so I didn't fight you. Cool. Cling cling. Uh, let's go down first. What is the purpose of this? <laughs> oh, because we can go across here. Okay, so what is the purpose of... Tiny Mushroom. Hey, Ryan! Got dinner noms again? What's for dinner today? Hope you're having a good day. So we can't get that item until we can use Surf, which is fine. Yeah. Hello. We're on constant patrol, even at night, it's safe around here. Okay, good, good, good. We'd like a good patrol. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we don't need the bridges. I like this route, this route is big. Burger and fries, it's junk food night. Ooh. Oh, that sounds good. Fight me. Find it reassuring to be on this damp soil. Okay. I have a little nitpicking with this game. I don't mind that it does the zoom in on a trainer when you're about to fight. But, for the love of all that's good in the world, why does it have to fade to black, then go to zoom out, to like the normal screen, and then animation starts the battle? Why can it not just start the animation for a battle while it's still zoomed in? It's the smallest thing in the world to nitpick about, but it kind of bugs me. And now that I've mentioned it, if you hadn't noticed it before, you're going to notice it now and you're going to be bugged by it. You're welcome. Yeah, I'm not so I'm not so bothered about the time because I'm not like you know in a hurry or anything. It just it just fe it feels really awkward. Just like zooming in for no purpose other than like oh this is the trainer that you're fighting, and then just cutting to black and then zooming out again. It's just so awkward. Is Tichi evolving? <gasps> Chef is evolving. Four twenty will be so proud. You're becoming a big boy. It's about time we're getting all these evolutions out of the way with, though. <laughs> Such a dumb sound. The sea slug Pokemon. It has a pliable body without any bones. If any part of its body is torn off, it grows right back. That's disgusting, but awesome. I'm a big kid now. Right. Switch box. Probably this one. That's the next one. Alright, Chef. You live here now. What's number 62? Get pull-ups out of diapers? What? 
how do we level up Mr. Mime or Mime Jr.? Oh, it has to learn Mimic. That might be a quick one to do. It probably learns Mimic at like level 30 something. That should be easy. Oh, I need to get Bonsly from somewhere. Dang. That's a version exclusive. Hi, trainers! Uh oh. I was not prepared for double battle. Should be fine. Allison and Jeffrey. It's just like Alp! Alp has an APOM! Commercial jingle for babies moving. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we, d we don't have that brand over here. That's why I was I was confused. Bum, 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 bum. Nibble is fast. Look at him go. What Pokemon you asked that you missed? What was it before it? Uh, it was number 62. It was after Gastrodon, but before Apom. We found out. We did. She's a ranger with purple hair and a whip. But, cute monkey Pokemon. Bubble Beam? Oof. No, 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 it's before Apom. It's before Apom. So it's after Gastrodon, but before Apom. Oh, we might have to switch Nibbler out. This could be bad. It'll be fine. Not Alpipom. <laughs> Hello, nurse. She needs the whip to keep chat in check. <laughs> oh my goodness. I didn't see that these uh, these trainers had two Pokemon each. That's kind of nice. Double team from Tishi. No thanks. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to hurt more than it did. That's fine. Lowest defense. Oh, attack. Okay. Another Primplup. I think I don't think it's Cherubi because Cherubi evolves. So there's there's only spot for one Pokemon. I'll have a look in my Pokedex because I might have seen it. Um, but I'm just trying to think of that kind of area. Will we find a? Oh, it might be one of the Bug Tree Pokemon. It might be Heracross. It might be Heracross if it's if it's around about the Bug Tree Pokemon. Although I. I don't think Heracross would be so low in the Pokedex. But it's like it's like a standalone, doesn't evolve, doesn't have a pre-evolution either. Alright, we're gonna slam the Meryl. And acid spray the Meryl. Good job, Nibbler. Nibbler might evolve here. I never wrote down what level it evolves. It evolves in the 30s. 62 is Heracross. Thank you, Hellhound. Okay, we're never going to see it. <laughs> we're never going to see it. Heracross is rare, and I keep forgetting to slather my trees. Finally found the list. Ah, okay. Thank you for checking for me. Evolution? Hey, Nibbler's evolving, finally. Good job it didn't faint there. Working on that dex, bro. Oh my god, it opens up its tail? That's creepy. What the heck? The skunk Pokemon. Skuntank. It sprays a vile smelling fluid from the tip of its tail to attack. It can fire this spray more than 160 feet. How many how many meters is that? 40? Hang on. Yes, isn't no, it's more like like sixty feet, isn't it? Oh, sorry, like sixty, seventy meters. That's far. Five foot is one hundred fifty centimeters. So that's seven times that. Forty nine meters. Thank you. Flamethrower. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Let's do it. Get rid of smoke screen. So it just evolved. It's a fart Pokemon, and it learns flamethrower. This is perfect.
slab of your tree is not a euphemism. It is not. It is not. We also got Albus evolving at the same time. Albus has been with us for a while now. It helped us defeat the, uh, the incredible Shellow Swall of 2021. I was originally going to be using a Bronzong on my team, but I decided to replace it with Drifblim. The Bronze Bell Pokemon. Once, one caused a media storm when it was dug up at a construction site after a 2,000 year sleep. Okay. And Starly at the same time? We are blessed with evolutions right now. We've been... We haven't had any evolutions for a while, to be fair. Fartmon? Oh my goodness. Yeah, we've been grinding out some of these Pokemon for a long time. Like, two, three gyms worth. But it's good. Pokedex, um... Progress, you know? It's good. It's good stuff. I wish I could flick between boxes quicker with the LNR button, but it's okay. Alright, Tishi is done. We do need to evolve Onyx Pup to Staravia. But I think that's quite a ways off. Um, although, you know, we did just do Skuntank and the other one. Wait, where does Skuntank go? Down here? Albus. Alright, let's get ourselves... <laughs> let's evolve Daisy. So Daisy evolves at level 30. And why not evolve Lily at the same time? Uh, no, not Lily, Camuso. Oh yeah, uh, Neo, you missed uh, Camuso was picked for uh, Goldeen. Our fake Wurmple. Um, I should be focusing on my choke. Wait! Oh, we've got a Thwopoid. Okay, I was like, wait, we've already got a Thwopoid. That was Wallopoid. Never mind. My bad. Ghastly. I didn't write down, apparently. Probably in the mid-twenties. Wingull is like in the 30s, I believe. Go Go Gadget, Drapion. Okay, we've got quite a lot we need to evolve. Let's get this Shinx evolved real quick. Shouldn't take very long for Shinx to get one level. Uh, how are we doing in terms of PP? Uh, boom. There we go. I'm glad. Oh, we can't see our. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got plenty, we got plenty. Don't say it, Hellhound! You know what happened the last time. <laughs> Don't do it, Memo, it's not worth it! Yeah, just the cap it, that's all you need. That's all you need. What's up, Quag? Lil Whoopi looks like he wants to lead. Okay, after you! I thought you were talking about going to a restroom. <laughs> oh dear. Look at him just do his big old mouth stretch. He's trying to make himself look bigger to deter opponents. That's what it is. Or he's yawning. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Sunny day. Do, 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 do. So these two trainers right here are very good to fight. Uh, if you can get them in a double battle as well, it's quicker. Aha! Especially with an amulet coin. I've never battled a young trainer like you before. I'm quite nervous. If it pleases you, would you care for a Pokemon battle with me? So these trainers are quite easy to beat. And these are another one of the pair of trainers that you can, um... You can farm quite a lot of money from them. Roselia and Chatot. Right, that Roselia needs to go down quick. Had to look for dinner? Glad to see you're still streaming. Welcome back, Tiz. How was dinner tonight? Do I use a restroom now or later? I'm good now. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, ooh, Carlton's level 31. We've only got Astonish that we can use. This isn't going to be great. Surprise! That's oh, all right. Level 19. I love Chatot. Cynthia's Garchomp is a beast. You got to you got to Garchomp. That's awesome. Did you beat it or 
<laughs> Are you training now? Oh, so you, you didn't manage to beat it, but you came down to last one. Tiz, I don't think you're alone. I don't think you're alone on that. I, um, I'm proud of you. Good job, Tiz. Uh-oh. Quagsire, no! He survived. It's fine. Oof. I'm training. Do you... Do you think you've got a Pokemon that can take out Garchomp? Oh, there's the poison. Ice-type move is recommended. You know, quad's weak to ice. You've always got Fairy-types as well, or Dragon-types, if you want to risk it, but... That Quagsire, he's, um... He's a beast. I have a plan to take out Quagsire. I think they should give me the championship anyway because I'm cute. Tiz, I'd give you the championship because you're cute. And that Garchomp's an absolute monster. Like, it shouldn't come down to just facing that Garchomp. <laughs> What's the chance of all the rocks on Cabin Island being Money Rock when you haven't gotten today's fortune? Uh, oh, I don't know that one, actually. Because Money Rock Island is... is an interesting one. Because it's kind of like Money Tree Island, isn't it? 16,000. That wasn't great. Post-game is when that gets better. Um, how close am I? Oh, we're very close to Heart Home City. I'm kind of tempted just to run up there and heal. Because Quag is, uh, is close to dead. We've got some policemen, which I don't think will fight us. Wow, there's lots of policemen here. I think the policemen only fight us at night time. Among the trees, you can smear with honey. There are lucky trees and not so lucky trees. If you want the to lure rare Pokemon, you have to find lucky trees. Guys, I um, I think I'm gonna try and get Munchlax, the OG way. I'm gonna try and get Munchlax for a for a honey tree. It's a vine slash Glomos Island. Are they always money rocks, then? Or is it like the Bell Tree Island, where it can be any island, but all of the fruits turned into money? Not always. Okay. Um, I don't know, then. I have no idea. I don't think I have a Pokemon that can counter her Garchomp. I might need to think up a strategy. I'm trying to think what moves the Garchomp has. It's got Dragon Claw, it's got Poison... Jab, Swords Dance, and there was an- oh, Earthquake. So maybe if you had a Pokemon that's not weak to all of those moves. Yeah. <laughs> maybe a Steel-type? No, because Steel-type is weak to Earthquake. Her Garchomp is so solid. What Pokemon do you have, Tiz? What, what's your- what's your team of six? See if we can come up with a plan. I like this route. This route's fun. Patrol's day and night. I'm feeling drowsy. Yawn. Okay, so we can't go that way without Surf. Earthquake kicks so hard, it really does. The owner of Amity Square also owns the Pokemon Mansion. Ah, Mr. Backlot. For Pokemon viewings. Just between you and me, all this patrolling could be pretty demanding. Anyone else here? Fight me! I'd like to begin now. Are you quite prepared? I'll have you know, my Pokemon sleeps on a fancy imported bed. Ooh la la. No worries, Flatly, no worries. Infernape, Rose Raid, Garchomp, Luxray, Staraptor, and Floatzel. So, I'd be inclined to... If you can't... Oh, you can't paralyze it with Luxray because it's ground type. Never mind. Um, <laughs> hmm. Rose Raid, I think, can learn fairy type moves, can't it? Maybe something like um, Dazzling Gleam. If you can get hold of a Dazzling Gleam somehow. Garchomp. You've got to try and outspeed her Garchomp with yours. If you want to use, like... Um, Oh, why did I do that? That was dumb. Uh, if you want to use, like, a dragon-type move. 
I just fast fingered that one. You might be able to teach Floatzel an ice type move. Tyranitar is dragon, uh, not dragon, rock and dark. But it's not strong enough. Oh, I suppose Poison Jab takes it out straight away. It's such a strong Pokemon. Like, it shouldn't exist. It was a Gyarados with Ice Fang is good. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a way that we can, like... We can maybe help Tiz's current team, rather than training up a, an exclusive Garchomp killer. Because <laughs> I've kind of got a plan with my Pokemon um, that I'm going to use to take out Cynthia's Garchomp, and I hope it works. Ah, here it is, double hit. Bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -dum. So in order for uh, Apom to evolve into Ambipom, it needs to learn double hit. I keep getting Dark and Fairy turned around, thinking Fairy is weak to Dark and not the other way around. Is Dark weak to Fairy? Yes, Dark is weak to Fairy. Yeah, because it's, it's the only weakness that Spiritomb has, and Sableye is Fairy type. Melissa? Uh-oh. How very impressive of you. <laughs> There's an unseemly sense of desperation about you. Ugh. Wow! Desperation? Well, I'm guessing that Staraptor evo- um... Staraptor will avoid Earthquake, but will probably still get killed by Dragon Claw or... Um... Poison Jab. I don't know what Staraptor might learn. Unless... Oh, I don't know if this would work, though. Unless you could get away with using Tailwind, or something that increases your whole team speed. To outspeed the Garchomp? Aerial Ace, Close Combat, and Brave Bird. Ooh, I didn't even think about Intimidate. So the long tail Pokemon. To eat, it definitely shucks nuts with its two tails. It rarely uses its arms now. What is Lumo Stash? Right, Carlton. I love that it's called Carlton. <laughs> Could teach it Tailwind. I don't know if it's going to be useful though. Like that was kind of just kind of like a throwaway idea. If you can teach it Tailwind, then it boosts your team's um, speed for five turns, and that maybe might let you outspeed Garchomp to get some damage in here and there. Um, but I'm not overly confident with that idea. <laughs> you could try it, and then if it does work, then woohoo, and you've got this really, like, interesting way that you defeated, uh, Cynthia's Garchomp. Oh, is there anything behind here? No. Why three Ghastlies and two Baneries? Uh, because I'm doing a Living Dex, Ryan. So... If you look at my Pokedex, um, where's an example of this that's actually good? I don't have an example of this that's good at the moment. Um, but a Living Dex is when you try and save one of every single Pokemon. So instead of just having a Bibarel, I want a Bibarel and the Pokemon that it evolves from, which is Bidoof. Instead of just having a Krikatoon, I want Krikatot as well. Um, so I have a Starly, I have a Staravia, and then this one will be evolved into Staraptor. Uh, I have two Magikarps, because one of them will be a Gyarados. I have three Zubats, because one's going to be a Golbat, one's going to be a Crobat. So it's kind of really handy to have one of every Pokemon available. It's something that I've done in Pokemon for a long time. Um, so yeah, why do I have three Ghastlies? Because one of them's going to be a Haunter, and one of them's going to be a Gengar. Why do I have uh, two Baneeries? Because I'm going to evolve this one into a um, Lopunny. Neat trick. Yeah, it's actually coming quite handy. Um, a couple of weeks ago, one of my friends was, um, was playing through Pokemon... Sword and Shield, and he wanted a shiny charm, and he was missing like 30 Pokemon. Uh, so I was like, yeah, I've got some, I'll just send them to you. Because I had one of each. Really? There's nothing here? I would have sworn there'd be something back here. Never mind. Give me my clock back. Oh, I went past it. There we go. 
I like that I can see the time. I could try and report back. I'm not ready for the grinding right now, though. Yeah, no worries, Diz. <laughs> Give it a go. You never know. It, it might work out. I've seen other people, like, toxic stall, uh, toxic stall using, you know, toxic and whittling it down that way. I've seen people that just get lucky with friendship, but we all know how I feel about that. Garden's open for all the visitors to enjoy. However, please be aware, wild Pokemon may appear in the grass. Oh, this is a trophy garden. Okay. Oh my goodness, how much stuff is there here? I'm sorry. Everything beyond this point is secret and off limits. Secret and off limits. All right. Oh, free item. A great ball. Can I sleep? No. Are, gonna, are there going to be trainers to fight here? You know how you can catch Pokemon in the trophy garden? If you put this on a caught Pokemon, it warms up to you faster. So shell, shell bell? Soothe bell. Shell bell heals you. I should be using that for, like, Lopunny, shouldn't I? And giving those friendship Pokemon, like, massages and whatnot. I'm not loafing off, I'm just taking a personal break. Mm-hmm. What a loafer. Oh my goodness. Walking around with the analog stick. Mr. Backlot is the master of this house, this is his office. Ah! Oh. Hello! Hello, hello, welcome to my opulent mansion. Ahem. There's a lot for me to be proud of inside and outside of this home. What makes me the most proud is my trophy garden in the back. Why bother traveling afar when Pokemon are attracted to my garden? They come to me. You're welcome to join them and marvel at my garden. Okay. Master actually quite enjoys showing his prized garden to strong trainers. Is he now? Very sorry, but please refrain from touching this statue. I want to touch it. <laughs> I want to touch it. <laughs> Swagger. Now, someone told me that you can get a lucky egg from Mr. Backlot. Very expensive looking book on Pokemon. Give me a lucky egg. Maybe it's in the trophy garden itself. Maybe hidden item. Maybe it's at the back. So sorry, everything beyond this point is strictly off limits. All right, into the trophy garden. We don't know what we're going to find. This is it. <laughs> this, this is it. Staravia. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. So, I think it's after the Elite Four, the Trophy Garden gets Eevee and a bunch of other Pokemon that's, um, that's like daily. So it's a shame that we're not going to be able to get ourselves an Eevee just yet. Another Staravia? Let me see what's in here. Because this will determine whether or not I spend a bunch of time actually looking for Pokemon in here. Uh, trophy Garden. We can find Pichu in here and Pikachu. Okay. Wait. And we can find it now. That's good. All right. We're going to find some Pichu and Pikachu. Just like that. Oh, look at him. He's adorable. What's Pichu's catch rate? Is it easy? 190. Okay, that's pro that's quite easy. So I don't want to damage it. Maybe. Um I kind of want to I kind of want to put him in a premier ball because he's premier. Also timer balls are kind of neat. I I'm going to I'm going to use premier balls. But we already have Pikachu. Wait, no we don't. Okay. Here we go. Time for chat to pull through with an epic nickname for Pichu. Pokemon Go Tour Live? First ever Pokemon Go Tour Live event will take place in select. Oh, that, yeah. I'm not interested in that Pokemon Go Sin uh, Johto thing that's going on. Good job, Grumpy. You grew to level 7. But we already have. P oh, we got. Oh, because Pachirisu. I see. The tiny mouse Pokemon. The electric sacks on its cheeks are still small. They cannot store much electricity yet. Let's give it a super cute nickname, chat. Wensley, oh my god. <laughs> ah, well, it's a cheese, and cheese is yellow, so... 
All right, let's find a Pikachu. We have a 10% chance of finding a Pikachu, and we need two of them. I don't remember which one got that nickname. Wait, what do you mean? There's a Moss Slash Vine Island. There is a 2% chance of having all rocks become money rocks. Oh, there we go. I swear there's meant to be a lucky egg here. Someone told me that I get a lucky egg from here. Whoop. Boom, boom, boom. The garden is a small portion of Pokemon with it. However, Mr. Backlot, the owner of the garden, will notify you each day a new Pokemon has been seen in the area. So I'm guessing I don't have access to the daily Pokemon until after the, um... After the, uh... What's it called? The post-game. You can get some cool Pokemon from here. Meowth, Chansey, Eevee, Porygon, Igglybuff, Cleffa, Plusle, and Minum. Cast form, Bonds... Oh, that... Wait. I can get Bonsly from here? It's meant to be a Pearl exclusive. Wait. That makes no sense. Oh, it's a Pearl exclusive except for the Trophy Garden and same for Mime Jr. I see. Oh, okay, E angry. Rare Irons without fortune. It's a 22% chance and 2% chance that all the rocks will become money rocks, so very lucky. That is kind of lucky, yeah. Mm, JP, thank you very much for the host. Appreciate it. Dinner was great. Oh, I, I might get myself a burger tonight. Like, I'm feeling... Oh. Part of me just wants to go to the chippy. I don't know. It's Thursday. I shouldn't be busy. I haven't had, like, proper fish and chips for so long. Couple of couple of months, I think, at this point. Do 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 do. You have a random Pokemon named Pikachu. Wait, I do. Oh, you're right, Groundhog. You're right, I do. Okay, I'm with you now. I see what you mean. Do it. Oh, I can't. I'm being good with money because I kind of have to. <laughs> Oops, don't want to do this. You know what? Don't use double team. Is Yawn gonna miss? Hope you're doing well today, Jay. You must have a, a few more days left at work, right? Un unless today was your last day. Watch now that I've used Yawn, it will catch it. Um, so I'm looking to Lucky Egg. There we go. Pokemon Diamond, Brilliant Diamond, Jubilife City. Oh. Ding, ding, ding. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, from the Lotto. Other than that, the Grand Underground. Okay. So whoever told me that I could get a lucky egg from, from the trophy garden, and I believe them, you lied. Oh, Jay! Oh! Oh! That's big news! Well, best of luck. Best of luck. Have you got something else lined up, or... You're just gonna wing it after Christmas. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and the Pokemon is going very well, thank you. Pokemon's going very well. Yo, Titus! How's it going, Titus? I hope you've been keeping well. Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. It lives in forests with others. It stores electricity and electric sacks on its cheeks. And it's cute. But is it deserving of the nickname... Bread. Daisy will be very pleased with that. That's all I'm saying. Daisy's favorite Pokemon, nicknamed after Daisy's favorite food. Just trying to get through the work day. I feel that. I feel that. Boom, boom, boom. 
Have you ever noticed how flat Pichu's head is? Big news indeed, yeah. Well, hopefully things go well, Jay. You know, I'll keep my fingers, toes, and eyes crossed for you. Freaking bread. Let's go see where Pikachu is. Hold on. It's Pikachu. Who got the nickname of Pikachu? I really can't remember. It was quite- oh! Oh, it's an Abra! <laughs> Maybe it wasn't that late. Of course it was Abra. Because it's yellow and black and looks like a Pikachu. Character limit for naming Pokemon? Well... <laughs> it's 12. Ryan, don't... Don't put in another suggestion. Tell me what name you want and I'll edit it on the list. <laughs> But yeah, it's 12 characters. 12 characters. <laughs> oh dear. There's too many letters. Yeah, less than that. <laughs> Freaking bread. I can't believe that. We just need another one so that we can evolve it into a Raichu. And then we'll get out of here. And hopefully take on Heart Home Gym. Um, we've got... We've got Luna that should hopefully do plenty of damage. Ding dong, you got it. Let me just load up the list. Wait. Oh, that's the wrong list. That one. There we go. I got so confused, I like loaded up the list and the last one on there was Shu. I got very confused because that was like weeks ago. Uh... Ha <laughs> ha! Uh... Sorry, I just like to laugh when... <laughs> when the follow bot accounts actually get like caught by by the bot and then and then we click on uh, the ban button don't we <laughs> that's so so funny Jay I've not seen someone actually put a link in for that for years normally they put a space between the dot com don't they <laughs> thanks bot bound <laughs> thank you bot bound Mm. Oh. Alright, come on Pikachu, 10% chance. It wasn't me, I swear. Mm -hmm. I'm on to you. So, because I am feeling quite hungry, chat, and it is just gone 9 o'clock. Not 9 o'clock, 7 o'clock. I think the plan for today is beat Fantina. Oh, but then we unlock Surf. There's an area that I want to go visit. Oh no. That's fine, we're, we're more than like, we're quite far away from beating the Elite Four anyway. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, don't worry, it's fine. I was Jay, yeah. I was just talking like a few streams ago about, well okay, no, we used to, like, we, we didn't see any for like two years, because they normally target small streams, right? I'm talking like, you know, the ones where they're quite new to streaming, maybe got like three or four vo uh, viewers or whatever. Um, couldn't get away? Are you kidding me? Um, but I started getting them again at the very start of streams. And I think it's because, you know, once you first start a stream, you know, you only have like three or four viewers for a few minutes before everyone rolls in. By the way, if you guys want to hit that notification button underneath the stream, then it helps when, uh, when, when, if you, you know, you're not in the Discord, and days like today where the... What's the bot called again? Stream, stream cord, stream cord! Character lit! Thank you, Groundhog. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, you did, random? Interesting. Yeah, basically when I started some of my Animal Crossing streams again, uh, like right at the start of the stream, we'd get a follow- like, a follower... 
advertiser, I guess, because follow bots are kind of different. Um, come in and like post a link. It's like get out of here, just like <laughs> it's so sad. It's like it's kind of saddening that some people do actually go through with stuff like that, buying followers and expecting it to be helpful. Follow accounts mean nothing, chat. Follow accounts mean absolutely nothing. There's channels I know of that got partnered five, six, seven years ago. 13, 14,000 followers, probably even more. There's a channel I know that has like 40,000 followers. Streams like four or five people at a time. So if you're a streamer out there and you think that buying followers is going to help you out, it will not. It will not. In fact, it will probably harm you in the long run. Because, yeah, believe it or not, Twitch is not stupid when it comes to that kind of stuff. Where is the Pikachu? There it is. Yeah, don't get angry about me just because I couldn't find you, right? Oh, dear. All right, let's catch this little guy. We'll send it to sleep first. Oh, it tried using Electro Ball on me. Cute. Bless it. Premier Ball time. Big hee -yah. That's fine. I meant for it to break out. It's zooming. So we did get a second female one, which I'm not too bothered about. I would have liked to get a male one so that I had, you know, both of them in the Pokedex. Alright, I'm going to leave this up to Daisy as well. Excuse me! How many team members do you have now? We have five. Uh, we have Monferno, Driftblim, Pachirisu, Quagsire, and... Who am I forgetting? Cranidos, Rampados. So we're missing the sixth. It's gonna be a while until I get that sixth one, Jay. Or maybe not. And this Pikachu is gonna be called... Space. So I'm going to leave it up to Daisy if we evolve space into a Raichu or if we evolve bread into a Raichu. Lots of pressure. Lots of pressure. I think she's just going to pick probably space so that bread remains a Pikachu, actually. Oh, you want to evolve bread? Okay. There we go. I was wrong. Keep up, Quagsire. Space bread. Yummy. <laughs> oh, they're moving around now. They weren't moving around before. Oh, hi, Quagsire. Lil Whoopi is nodding at you. Nodding at me? Bread needs to get strunk. If the anime taught me anything, Daisy, it's that, you know, Pikachu doesn't need to evolve to get strong. And that Raichu can use Thunderbolt. Did I even talk to these guys? I talk about eggs. Alright, let's try taking out Fantina. Fountina? Fantina, sorry. So I believe this is the quiz house, isn't it? But I actually don't care about doing the quiz. I'd rather fight all the trainers for experience. Gym time indeed. Indeed. Do I have a Thunderstone? I have found one of the evolution stones in the underground before. I might have one. Let me have a look. Oh, I've got a leaf stone. Never mind. Ooh, do I need a leaf stone for anything? Oh, we can't use it on our box? Never mind. How did you like the Sun and Moon ditching the gym system? It, it was okay. The, the thing is, right, I've complained for quite a few years now that Pokemon's system is kind of boring and really, really overly repetitive. However, when they did try and change it in Sun and Moon, I was like, eh, <laughs> that wasn't that great, you know. It was in darkness and you had to stay out of the trainer's flashlights. Ah, that's cool. What if you want to actually battle the trainers, though? Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. So, 97, 98. 
99, 100, 101, 102. All right, so 103 goes there. 104, 105. And 106, Mr. Dolly the Hoot Hoot. And Jay's Lasagna the Noctowl. Oh, dear. Oh, these are actually in a line. This is perfect. So we have 129, 128, one... No. 129, 130, and then 131. You walk into that flashlight. Well, that makes sense. <laughs> How could I have been so so daft? There we go. You have to, Daisy. You have to. It's Jay's lasagna. Do you think we can take it with just Luna? Last time we tried using just Luna, it was kind of rough. Maybe the next mainline entry will shake things up in a positive way if Legends Arceus does well. I hope so, because Legends Arceus isn't the mainline game, is it? But I know what you mean. Hopefully they, like, if it does well, they, they look, oh, this isn't the mainline Pokemon game, but it still did really well, so let's try and do more like this, maybe, in the mainline games. What have you got about against Jay's lasagna, Daisy? Come on. Yeah, I'm... I'm really looking forward to it, Ryan. I'm really looking forward to it. Ah! Ah! Run away! Alright. Fantina, here we go. Oh, you know what I should do? Amulet coin. Or should I give us an item that actually helps? Like boosting ghost type or something? I got the spooky plate. Let's do it. I don't really need money at the moment. We got 158,000. Pretty good. <laughs> I was hoping, hoping you'd send it to him. Question, what is three plus five plus seven? That's 15. But we're gonna go to number two instead. Bum, 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 blah, blah, blah. Oh, they want us to use the Poketch? Bless. This is the ghost type gym, indeed. Please forgive me. <laughs> oh, she sent that to me and she was like, I can't take um I can't take Jay's lasagna seriously anymore. Like Wait, you haven't even seen it yet, and you're already forgiven her? <laughs> oh, dear. Bum, ba -da 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 -dum. I know I've been lurking, but it's time for me to head off to work. Oh, no worries, Belle. Work comes first. Have a good day. Thank you so much for the lurk. Appreciate it. Jay's Lasagna. Yeah, Jay's Lasagna is the name of my, um, the name of my Noctowl. Oh, this is going to be easy. He says now, slightly terrified of what's to come. Look at all those level ups. Daisy grew to level 18. There we go. Daisy, would you like to learn amnesia? I'm going to give you amnesia. What? That sounds rude. <laughs> I'm, Daisy, I'm going to give you amnesia. That sounds very violent. <laughs> oh, dear. Wow. Wait, hold on, Daisy, I just realized. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I was like, where's the eye come from? Yeah, I'm dumb. I do have rubbish memory. Yeah, but the way I said I'm going to give you amnesia makes it sound like I'm about to hit you on the head real hard. Bash on the head, why don't you? Exactly. It's like, I don't want to actually do that. Wait, is Driftblim's special better than its physical? No, it looks like it's normally mixed, but we got a decreasing um, ability. So we'll go like this. I did. All I remembered was the bit that it was before, and then it somehow ends up spelling lasagna. I couldn't remember what happened to the eyes. 
And I forgot the first word. Imagine having amnesia about amnesia, not being able to forget how to forget. Sounds cool. It is kind of ironic that you learn the move amnesia. <laughs> like that that's kind of funny. Oh, she has a Miss Magius at the end, doesn't she? Grumpy Grill level 16, that's perfect. That will evolve. Last Molly, the cute duck. No, it's close. There's a there's a Pokemon that Miss Drevis evolves into called Miss Magius. Miss Miss Magius? Miss Magius? I always pronounce it Miss Magius. Forgive me still. Yeah, Jay is uh, awkwardly silent like, right now. Oh, Jay forgave me still. Never mind. Never mind. I misread it. I'm not surprised. Alright, let's head back out because we can't switch our Pokemon while we're in the gym. We'll get rid of Kadabra. And we can't start leveling up a chop because we've got a couple of them. Oh, it's okay, Jay. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Uh, I guess we could try evolving Luxray. Evolves at level 30. Starly it loves, evolves at level 34, so we're quite far away. Actually, we're not that far away from Onyx Pup evolving. Let's try and get a Luxray. Good old Herbert. Oh, we'll just stay here. Mr. Magoo, which isn't right in the head and may have amnesia. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm about to say something that might be stupid. Is that the guy with the... the Wonder Emporium? Is that someone else? No, it's not Mr. Magoo at all, is it? It's something that rhymes with Emporium. This is laughing so hard. Mr. Magorium's Wonder Emporium, that's it. Something like that. Can't remember. Mr. Magorium. That's Mr. Mag Magorium, yeah. Close, though. You can see where my brain formed the link. Alright, let's head to the second room. Correct, congratulations. Oh, okay. Sorry, Bob Bound. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about uh, Mr. Magoo then. Thank <laughs> you, what are you implying? What is 12 plus 28? Well, it's 40, but it's clearly 30. If you know what I mean. These poor trainers, forced to stand in a dark room on their own behind a locked door. <laughs> poor Drew. I guess you could say he drew the short straw. I like the stained glass windows, though. They're cool. Uh, let's save some uh, some power points for Shadow Ball. Uh, let's go poof. Hey ya! I guess he is camping behind the door. At least he's surrounded by the stained glass windows. True, true. Although they're not. Hold on. When we were actually in the room, there were no stained glass windows. There were just candles on the wall. Also, these stained glass windows seem to be not attached to walls. <laughs> Big sus. Big sus. Alright, use another ghastly, I dare you. Yeah, they, they are like room dividers, but I hope they're safe. Cream cheese is a few levels away from evolving. Yeah, yeah, I noticed the stage lights as well. So it's not just a, um, it was not just a Turner City gym. It seems like it, maybe it's all of them. What's the logic behind Ghost being affected behind Ghost? I have no idea. 
Um, but I'm I'm really down for the uh, those types of uh, weaknesses, like dragons weak to dragon. I wonder what Google says. Why is ghost weak to ghost? That was because they were ghost dark type, and both the ghost and dark types have resistance or resistance immunities. No, that's stupid. Can someone please explain the whole ghost psychic thing? No, that's not what I want. I want ghost ghost. What is ghost resist, resist bugs? A bunch of type charts. Okay, what's this Quora answer? Well, as I've heard the theory that bug is super effective against psychic because bugs do not have a large enough mental capacity to be influenced by psychic power. I've also heard that ghosts are of an intangible substance. It's possible that only other ghosts can actually hurt them. Technically, no physical move should affect ghost type. But that would be way overpowered in the game, let alone in the meta game. So I'd assume they make it almost necessary OPness up with a simple super effective against its own type. Nothing else was super effective against Ghost in the first generation. The weaknesses of Dark type was introduced with the second generation. I'm not saying that it all makes complete sense. But the developers knew that the typing was broken and tried to improve the meta game with each future generation. Do you want the lore reason or the real reason? I am not reading that out. I'm not reading that. That's really long. <laughs> I think psychics break through to the spiritual world, hence they beat ghost. Or is it dark type? I, I don't know. Um, dark type is super effective against ghost. Ghost is super effective against psychic. Google just knows what you're talking about. <laughs> we all know Wisp is afraid of ghost. That's true. That's true. Yeah, Wisp is afraid of ghosts as well. Ghost beat goats. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, a little Drifloon. Oh, look, it's cute. Meet Daddy. No, sorry, Mommy. I'm never saying Daddy again. <laughs> that was a mistake. Has a smacks the ghosts. <laughs> oh, dear. Meet Parent. <laughs> yes. Oh dear. God, that still reminds me of the uh, the clip from when we were shiny hunting Cramorant. And I got like a 5 IV Cramorant and I said, Ah, this is a really good one. This will be the Cramorant Daddy. That was a bit yikes. Another Mistrevious. Thank goodness there's not a daddy quote. Thank goodness there is not a daddy quote. God damn. <sighs> Boo. I had to check. Phew. So, if you guys uh, didn't know, this trainer here that had the drift, drift blim is the only way you can see a drift blim in the game if you never catch one from the Valley Windworks. Oh, no, sorry, Drift not Drift blim. Uh, I just want to check to see what Driftblim's defenses are like. Physical defense is way lower than special. Okay. One day I might slip it. Very true. Very true. But until that day... Bling blong. Until that day, we shall be fine. Is this the last one? Thank you, Jay. What is 3 times 13? Clearly it's 33. How does that Drifloon not drag its child trainer to the afterlife? Drifloon's, um... Pokedex entry is like, actually kind of creepy. Oh, another one? The thing that's annoying me about these Drifloons is they all have um, Aftermath as the ability. So it's actually doing a decent chunk of damage to me. I know some mods that might just had it just because. They're, nah, they would never do anything just because. The the quotes, the mods are great with the quotes.
Isn't that right, Jay? <laughs> Isn't that right, Jay? In theory, I like the theory that all the Pokemon entries are written by 10 year olds that know nothing about Pokemon, just which by some just make absolutely no sense. I still love Embors. Embors is the one that gets me every single time. It's just crazy. It's so funny. I can't remember the exact entry, but it's something like you know, it punches with fists of fiery fury, uh, it, like sets fire to its fists using its beard of fire. It cares deeply about its friends. This is loads of <laughs> Perfect, Jay. Thank you. As soon as I saw ad quote, I was like, oh, yikes, what is this? Oh, you. I feel bad that I'm so angry. Sounded like a haiku. Let me find the actual entry. Hold on. It was from the original games, I think. Either that or Black and White 2. Hmm. It can throw a fire punch by setting its fists on fire with its fiery chin. It cares deeply about its friends. <laughs> oh. Love it. That's its official Pokedex entry from Generation 5. Alright, we'll take on this one. Hopefully I've got enough HP to survive more aftermaths from Drifblim. Or Drifloon, sorry. Oh, there's only one Pokemon. Chance? A Haunter. That honestly sounds like a haiku to me. I think the first sentence is too long. From Black, it can throw a... Yeah, there it is. There it is. Hello, Clubby! <laughs> I see you, you like the little duck. The little animated duck. Clebby, we were talking the other day, um, because we were we were mentioning last stream about the like the Pikachu clones every generation. We were trying to list them off, and someone asked me about Emolga, and I was like, "Oh yeah, Emolga's the cute little flying squirrel, the electro type." And Lavender was said, "It's Clebby," and we were trying to remember where that came from. And it was something to do with, like, the Pokedex entry of it being cute but troublesome. I think, like, I can't remember why, but we gave Imolga the nickname Clebby for some reason. And I'm trying to remember that reason. And then we read the Pokedex entry. And we were like, oh my god, that is Clebby. And I can't remember what it was. Like, why we originally gave the Imolga the nickname Clebby. I just looked at the sidebar and the duck animation is so cute. Yes, it's the it's the exact animation from the um, from the duck parade. The what the first sentence has one too many syllables for a haiku. And it cares deeply about its friends is eight syllables. Come, Driftblim, we have much to do. Bit faster, pal. Bit faster. Faster. This Pokemon is cute, but it can cause a lot of trouble. Yeah, like Clebby. I can't imagine Clebby causing trouble. Alright, which room was it again? Was it the right one? I've already forgotten. You got offended when it said troublesome? <laughs> but troublesome is a, is like a, a fun, cute way of being mischievous, right? Right? I still can't remember why we ended up calling the Emolga Clebby. Yeah, oh, you can't remember either? Congratulations, I believe this is Fantina. Oh, it's not? What was the first room's answer? It was 15. But I want to go this way. Enjoy the animated emotes in the sidebar without them moving in chat. I'm glad that the um the chat overlay is that gonna fit Sarsaparilla? Maybe because the word squirrel. Oh, it was. Oh, it might have been. Yes. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
I actually think it was Lav. I actually think it was Lav that wanted to name it it Clebby because it was cute. Can't remember. Mm, 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 mm. Or maybe it was I did that because of the because I remember us having a disquash, discussion discussion about um, how to pronounce squirrel. Mm. Oh, he's got a third Pokemon. Is it going to be a Gengar? Phantom Force, yeah. I didn't remember Lavender did. <laughs> I didn't remember Lavender did. It's all on Lavender. I mean, no, it was me. It was me. Recycle? Nope. What level is Banana gonna learn Mimic? What level is Daisy Ball? I never wrote it down. Oh, I did write it down. 30. Okay, that's fine. Herbert grew to level 20. Good job, Herbert. He does have a Gengar. This could be rough. Let's try Shadow Ball. Uh oh. Ouchie. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm a little bit more worried about the the, the gym leader. Luna did level up though. That's good. So did Daisy, so did Cream Cheese. Cream Cheese is going to evolve! And Herbert hit that sweet level 21. Alan! <laughs> oh no! Alan! Alan! Oh, is that Dave? Dave! Or is it Steve? I can't remember. I think it's Steve. Steve! Oh, I don't know, I can't remember. Who comes after Alan? Oh no, not Dave. Ooh. One second, Daisy. Because uh, I know you said after stream, but I can't help but not look during. Um... No thanks, but thank you. Alan! 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 Steve! Steve! Yeah, it's Steve. The atrocious Pokemon, Gyarados. Once Gyarados appears, its rage never settles. Until the Pokemon has raised the fields and mountains around- the, the mountains as well? Cream cheese learned bite. You love it when your food bites you back. Oh, it won't let me access the. <sighs> right, which room is it? Okay, so we're gonna go in this one. I'm gonna fight this trainer and probably lose because I didn't heal. But I wanna, I wanna dip out and heal before the gym leader. Catherine, we found Tudor Sloth. We were mischievous. The Anthem Force. We go poof. I quote that video regularly, I love it so much. It oh, Trick Room. That could be a problem. Yeah, it's funny, I like it. Surprise! Phantom Force is pretty good, I like it. Alright, we're a good nine levels away from evolving Goldeen, I think. Oh, we're gonna have a Drift Blim. This could be bad. We might get taken out here, because it's gonna be faster than us because of Trick Room. And if it is faster than us, and if it uses Phantom Force, this could be good if we use Phantom Force. Yes! Yes! <laughs> get outsmarted! See ya! <laughs> so it's going to use it first on the next turn, but it won't have a target. But I will! Trick Room, save the day. Oh my goodness. Big brain plays. <laughs> is that... Two thousand... Is 200 IQ, okay. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Triffin. Alright, let's go heal up. 
Because it's got to be the next room, right? There's no way that it's going to make me do a fifth math question, right? Please. Please don't. So I think it's right, middle, left, right. Now, this is going on longer than I thought it would. I'm, I'm definitely going to end after the gym because I'm hungry. <laughs> so hungry. Math in a children's video game and a memory question. Because at the very end, it's like, what was the first answer? I don't know. Can't even remember the last answer. Keep up, Driftblim. Otherwise, you don't get healed. Do 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 do. Red, blue, and yellow flowers. Gen one remakes confirmed. Math blasters. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Do 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 do. I've already forgotten the order. Right, middle, left, right. Read a rabbit. That poor balloon, what about it? It's fine. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. There's something in my eye. And it's not my finger. do 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 this gym is so tall compared to what it looks like on the outside. Hey, we made it. Let's save because that's important. I didn't change Gyarados out. Whatever. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this region, I always try to learn new things. They hold contest shows in this city. I say to myself, Enfin. I will accept Enfin. Enfin? Yeah, the Poketch clock was a deliberate choice, yeah. <laughs> That's why I dress this way. Sis un performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have come to be gym leader. And uh, so it shall be that you challenge me, but I shall win. Is that what a gym leader does, non? Oui. Oh, that's going to be a... That's going to suck. Drift Blim to start off with. With the aftermath. That's fine. We'll one-shot it. It'll be, it'll be okay. She looks like she doesn't have teeth sometimes. Yeah, like just the white face. These gyms kind of have the Animal Crossing effect where the gym inside is... Inside is a whole mansion compared to the outside. Yep. Cream cheese grew to level 21, even though it's not meant to. And learn waterfall. That's all right, then. Good job, Herbert. Level 23. Gengar. Here we go. This could be rough. We didn't take aftermath damage. I thought Driftblim had aftermath. Uh-oh. Ouch! Hopefully this is enough. Haha! <laughs> take that, sucker! Critical hit, very nice. TARDIS. Everyone has a TARDIS. <laughs> oh, Daisy, so close to that next level. Cream cheese grew to level 22. Miss Magius. Oh boy. Oh heavens, what is this? Is this my final Pokemon? I miss black and white too, man. Oh, sorry, black and white and black and white too. When the gym leader sent out their final Pokemon, I missed that vibe. It was so good. Um, I've got a feeling that Miss Magius has really high special defense, but I can't remember. Also, Fantina has the the cross on her dress that's the same as Driftblim's mouth. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna go for a Phantom Force. It was the right call. Oh, he, he did? Oh, Sassy, that's awesome. 
Oh, that's great. That's pretty good. I'm happy for him. Jeez, about time. 1688. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder if he saw anyone else on the list of villagers he's yet to see. That was a really easy gym fight. Luna wants to learn Destiny Bond. We're doing it. Destiny Bond is my backup for, um, against Garchomp. He found Whitney multiple times. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Daisy wants to learn Aqua Tail. Daisy, do you want to learn Aqua Tail? I'm going to teach you Aqua Tail. You can carry on snoring. You rest all the time. Um, you can get rid of Water Pulse. You can forget things, you can rest, you can snore, and you can smack things with your watery tail. There you go. Bum, 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 bum. Wow. Wait, who wants to learn Aqua Ring? Oh, Kamusa. Uh, you can get rid of Tail Whip. Oh, really? I bet he's, he's glad that he carried on. That's crazy, man. 1688. 1688. Herbert wants to learn Raw. Nope. You are so fantastically strong. I know what, uh, now why I have lost. There we go. Chat, we did it. Fifth gym badge. We can now surf. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admiral. I shall honor it with this gym badge. Oh, it's pretty. I like it. You received the Relic Badge from Fantina. Yeah, her, her smile is kind of scary, isn't it? Take these technical machines too. I know you'll make good use of them. Very nice. What's that going to be for? Maybe more Shadow Ball? Shadow Claw. Okay. Hits critical hits often. Nice. Stickies! <laughs> I wish there was a quick way out of this gym. Oh. Hmm, I just had an idea. Oh no, it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind, Sasu. You know us. We like uh, HGG here. Part of the HGG stream team and whatnot. It's okay. But I understand why you may feel like you need to apologize for it. You know, the whole like talk about other streams within the stream can be a a dodgy topic sometimes oh Cynthia hi I'm so glad to see you you're not very easy to track down my grandma told me about what took place in Celestic Town thank you for what you did by the ruins it's okay they had a bomb it's fine I, I stopped it but that seemed galactic I thought they were just a bunch of eccentrics you know talk about how they're going to make a new universe and all what a weird way they dress too I thought they were harmless it appears as if they're more trouble than fought. I mean, stealing and hoarding Pokemon? That's just plain wrong. She's still smiling. <laughs> Go away, Cynthia. Tears is like, I've seen enough of you today. By the way, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If you did, you may want to visit the library in Canalave City. They have some ancient books that you might find interesting. It may also be of help to the completion of your Pokedex. Be good to go there. Okay, bye-bye for now. We have to go there for Pokedex completion? All right. All right, cream cheese, you did good. Slash, you did nothing. Uh, next on the list of Pokemon that we want to evolve, I think I'm gonna put Onyx Pup back in here. Evolves in like the mid level 30s, yeah, 36. That's rough. That's gonna take a while for Onyx Pup to get to 36. Um, we do have Machops we can level up. Ghastly's to level up. I'm gonna give Zumi the um, the Soothe Bell. We don't have a Dusk Stone for du uh, for for. Nip we don't have a Dusk Stone for McNuggets. We're gonna catch ourselves a Chimeco later on. We need to evolve Meditite into Medi Medicham. Uh, we do have two Ponytars, so we have to evolve one of those. Lissy evolves through friendship as well. Or oh, sorry, Pizza evolves through friendship, so we're gonna have to get one of them. We have to evolve Wingull, we have to evolve Skaroopy, we have to evolve Krogunk, we have to evolve uh, Maril. So there's quite a few left to evolve still, but we made good progress today. Let's take a look at our Pokedex. Cream cheese was moral support. I am kind of a little bit disappointed that I forgot to move him out though, because 
That was some valuable experience that we could have given to a different Pokemon that needed it. And I really like the way we're doing this. Like, um, switching out our team member based on what's going on, but still leveling up our Pokemon in our Pokedex because it means that our team isn't going to get crazy overleveled. And when we come against the Elite Four, I think it's going to be a struggle. I think it really is. What do you think, Luna? Luna is keeping close to you. Ah, Bless. Bless. Pokedex, 98 Pokemon. We're two-thirds of the way there. What about Court? 70. You know, we've almost caught half of half of the Pokemon in the Pokedex. That's pretty cool. Yeah, Jay, I think I'm going to do that, but I am going to be doing that next time. Especially since there is something on this route here that is vital to my plan. Yes. Although I can't think of any routes that have Surf off the top of my head. Um, so I might have to do a bunch of backtracking and, and looking around. Um, there's a lot of these ones here that I think had Surf routes on them, and this one here as well. But yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be fighting some trainers, leveling up a little bit more for our Pokedex. Not necessarily for um, our team, but Monferno is getting kind of low. Same as Rampardos, uh, Sparky Button Luna really took over for a little bit. Plus, um, Southpaw is close to evolving, so that's pretty good. Anyway, chat. Uh, I'm going to get out of here because it's 8 o'clock and I'm going to try and get myself some food before I see about ripping the car battery out of my, my car. I might just try turning over the engine anyway, see if it's working. If it is, I'll go for a quick drive, charge it up a bit, and then park it somewhere else. I don't know. <laughs> uh, thank you, Jay. Get some good food, streamer man. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate it. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful rest of your uh, Thursdays and you all have a wonderful, wonderful... Um, Friday as well. Uh, we're going to do something we haven't done in a while, chat. We're going to go go, uh, go give a quick raid. Let's pass on our congratulations to Hylian, who has spent the last two or three weeks looking for Ioni in Animal Crossing, um, and has finally found Ioni after 1,600 tickets. Uh, so we need, we need, like, a good raid message. What do you guys think? Yeah, I got rid of the raid command. Wait, did I? Does this still work? Okay, yeah, I never had a raid command. I just had a button. I, I, do you think we could, we could go a little bit more personal than that? Just congrats on Ioni. That that works. So we got we got. Here's your raid message if you want, if you're a sub. There we go. And if you're not a sub, let's grab a blue heart. And we'll do congrats on Ioni. There we go. Perfect. So, if you've got my emotes, feel free to use them. If not, you can replace the emotes with whatever you want. In fact, if you are subbed, maybe replace the emotes with whatever you want. We're gonna go raid. Uh, highly in descent. It's very rare. Actually, it's not very rare that he's on when I still am. But <laughs> uh, he might be ending soon. I can imagine that he'd want to after like the craziness that is a sixteen hundred ticket hunt, almost seventeen hundred. So grab your raid message, guys. Copy paste. Get ready to go. Uh, Hylian's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful streamer, man. Um, very inspirational. Has helped me a ton in my uh, in my streaming journey, and he's a he's just he's just a great human being. He really is. Um, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all on Saturday, where we're going to be doing some more Animal Crossing and or uh, Pokemon. And next week, chat. Next week, um, Saturday stream, which is of course Christmas Day, will be moved to Friday, Christmas Eve. All right, just a bit of a heads up. I'm going to make like a some type of schedule graphic for for the next couple of weeks because it's going to be a bit wonky. What with the uh, what with the holidays. All right, have a good one, guys. See you over in Hylian stream, and. Uh, Insert smart remark here.